Hello friends, from this video tutorial, we are going start discussing student module in admin area, in this module we will discuss, how admin add new student records. How can admin edit existing student record, how admin can delete student records, and load student record in jQuery data table. In this attendance system, admin can assign one grade to each student, so this is basic introduction of the student module. Now let's start discussing this module, this is student table with table column like, student ID, student name, student roll number, student date of birth and student grade id admin can maintain student data under this table now we have go to student.php file and here first we have write include statement with header.php file it will take all property of header file into the student.php file under this page we have create one table with id is equal to student table, we will use this id value as selector load jQuery data table data. Under this table we have create five table column like, student name, roll number, date of birth, grade, edit and delete. First we want to load data into jQuery data table, for this we have go to jQuery code, and here we have write data table variable is equal to table id student table with data table method, it will initialize jQuery data table plugin. Under this data table method, we have write processing option set to true, this feature control the processing indicator. Then after, we have write second option server side option set to true, this option will enable data tables in server side processing mode. Now we have write order option with blank array value, this will initial remove table order from table column. Now we want to load data, from student table by using Ajax in data tables, so we have define Ajax option, and under this we have first write URL option set to student action.php. In second Ajax option, we have write type, and here we have write post, so here it will use post method for send data to server. In third Ajax option, we have write data, here we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have write action variable with fetch value. So, here our jQuery code is ready. Now we have go to student action.php file, and here first we have write include statement with database connection.php, it will make database connection. Below this we have write session start function, it will start session on this page. After this, we have write if statement, and under condition we have write, is set function with dollar post action variable, if this variable value is set then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write, if statement with condition like dollar post action variable value is equal to fetch, if this condition true then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar query variable is equal to, select star from student table, inner join grade table, on grade table dot grade id is equal to, student table dot student grade id. After this we have write, 
if statement and under condition we have right, is set function with dollar post search value variable, if this condition true then, it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write, dollar query variable, and under this we have append query like where student table dot student name like dollar post search value variable. Below this, we have again write or student table dot student role number like percentage dollar post search value variable. After this for search student date of birth data, here we have write or student table dot student date of birth column like dollar post search value variable. And lastly for search grade data, here we have write or grade table dot grade name like dollar post search value variable. Now we have write, if statement, and under condition we have write, is set function with dollar post order variable, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar query variable, and under this we have append query like, order by dollar post order variable with zero index with column variable and dollar post order variable with zero index with directory variable this block will execute if user sort table column data but suppose above condition false then it will execute else block of code and here we have write dollar query variable and under this we have append query like order by student table dot student id in descending order for data table pagination, here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar post length variable value is not equal to minus 1. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code, and under this we have write dollar query variable, and in this we have append query like limit dollar post start variable, and dollar post length variable. Now we have write, dollar statement variable is equal to, dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query variable, it will make query for execution. For execute query, we have write dollar statement variable with execute method. After this we have write, dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method, this method will return query execution result. For store data, here we have defined dollar data variable is equal to array. Below this we have write, dollar filtered rows variable is equal to, dollar statement variable with row count method this method will return no of rows affected after above query execution now we have write for each loop and under condition we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable by using this loop it will fetch data from dollar result variable under this loop we have write, dollar subarray variable is equal to array. Under this variable we will store data temporary. First we want to store student name details, for this, here we have write dollar subarray variable is equal to dollar row student name variable. Same way for store student roll number data, here we have write dollar subarray variable is equal to dollar row student roll number variable. Now we want to store student date of birth data, so here we have write dollar subarray variable is equal to dollar row student date of birth variable. 
Below this, we have write dollar sub array variable is equal to dollar row grade name variable, it will store grade name data. After this, we have write dollar sub array variable is equal to button type is equal to button name and class is equal to edit student id is equal to dollar row student id variable in button text we have write edit we will use class as selector in jquery code and fetch student id value from id attribute in jquery code now we want to make delete button for this here we have write dollar sub array variable is equal to button type is equal to button name and class is equal to delete student and id attribute is equal to dollar row student id variable and in button text we have write delete now we have write dollar data variable is equal to sub array variable it will store all dollar sub array variable value into dollar data variable. Below this, here we have write dollar output variable is equal to array with first key draw value set to dollar post draw variable. In second key we have write records total value set to dollar filtered rows variable in third key we have write records filtered and it value get from get total records function with two argument like dollar connect variable and student table name and in last key we have write data with value get from dollar data variable so this way we have store data under dollar $output variable, now for send this data to Ajax request in JSON format, here we have write echo statement with JSON encode function with dollar $output variable. Now we have check output in browser. Friends, here we can see different menu on web page, so we have click on student link after click on student link on web page we can see student table data on web page in data table here we can see different data table functionality like searching pagination sorting any more other now in next part we will see how to add new student data in this part we have covered student module, first feature like load student data in jQuery data table, in next part, we will discuss next feature like add or insert student data. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.